Welcome, everybody, to another edition of AUHSD Future Talks. I'm your host, Michael Matsuda, the superintendent of the Anaheim Union High School District. And as the name implies, this show is all about the future for our 30,000 students and uh, what the future, especially post-COVID, is going to look like because many experts are saying that we're entering a extended recession, especially for young people. It's going to be challenging for them to get good jobs that have purpose and meaning in their lives. Um, but AUHSD is not standing by. Not that We are on the move and we're trying to build job pathways for young people, give them hope and optimism, but more than that, ending up with a um, good, well-paying job that is meaningful to them and that is also meaningful to their families and their communities. So we're very lucky tonight to have two of our recent graduates. Uh, we have Anthony Gomez and we have Randy. Randy, what is your last name? Garcia. Garcia, okay. I almost went by your nickname there. So uh, <laughs> uh, Randy Garcia and Anthony Gomez. And, and I'm gonna start with you, Anthony, because your story, both of your stories are pretty amazing um, and your journeys in life with your parents too, pretty amazing. So um, why don't you, first let's just, uh, so, so here you are a kid graduating from Magnolia High School with a high school diploma, but importantly, two dual credit classes that kind of introduce you to cybersecurity. Those dual credit classes, of course, were taught with our partner, Cypress College. And uh, Let's take it from there. Let's let's first of all, um, Anthony, find out a little bit about who you are, and uh, you know how did you end up with these classes. So tell us, share us about who you are, Anthony. Hi, uh, like you said, my name is Anthony. Uh, I'm a security analyst at Hulu, uh, former graduate or graduate of Magnolia High School, class of 2018. Um, I'm currently going through school to finish uh, getting my bachelor's degree and hopefully getting to a security engineering or security architecting position. So you you have a job at Hulu with a high school diploma, and you mind sharing how much the starting pay was for that job? Yeah, my starting pay uh, for that job was around, you know, 60, 65,000 a year uh, with just my high school diploma. <laughs> That that is incredible. And what is your, what was your parents' uh, response when you got that? First of all, did they know what cybersecurity? Most parents don't probably. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about it myself. But did they know? Like, what is cybersecurity? Uh, they, they didn't really know. I just kind of told them that you know, I was hacking for the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> sure, yeah. But they didn't like fully understand what you know cybersecurity was. And even I didn't at that point. And now that I'm into it, like I can you know better explain it. <laughs> so initially, Anthony, your your father, though, was kind of hesitant of you maybe even going that path. He wanted you to go maybe a different, more traditional path, right? Which, can you share a little bit about that story? Yeah, so, you know, my dad is a general constructor uh, and, oh, general contractor, and he, you know, wanted me to follow in his ways of, you know, learning plumbing, drywall, you know, being a handyman, basically. And when I explained to him that I wanted to do cybersecurity, he was kind of hesitant and he wanted me to, you know, follow his path and keep going the way he did. But I had to convince him, you know, that technology was where it's at and that cybersecurity was a, you know, bright future, a good pathway. So, um, Anthony, then you, why, why did you just, how did you find out about these uh, after school dual credit classes and what drew you to taking them? So I think I was in my English class when someone went to present, you know, that they were offering the classes. And I was interested to see, you know, I was always curious about technology. So I decided why not give it a try. And so I went. What was, and what was the title of those classes, the dual credit classes? So the first one I took was IT Fundamentals, which I got a cert paid for by the school. And then the second class was an anti-hacking class. Yeah, so the anti so both of those classes were taught by Cypress College professors at Magnolia, correct? Right. Yeah, so it was convenient for you to stay after school, take a dual credit, meaning you got high school credit too, and college credit. Right. Yep. And then, so how did you uh, learn about Hulu? 
So I actually learned about Hulu and the internship opportunity there through the instructor, the Cypress College instructor. Uh, the program is called Year Up, where you do one year. It's a one-year program where you do six months of school and six months of internship, and that's how I kind of got into Hulu. Wow. So you've been there for a while, and uh, I guess you passed probation there, so you're doing well. <laughs> I mean, you probably got a raise, right? Yes. So that, that's awesome. And um, now I think this is really um, – a big deal for you and it's a big deal for us too because we're we're still building these dual credit pathways and we we really are excited to hear about your story and you still intend to go to the four-year college and university and finish out and really continue to um, we call it upskill yourself so you're positioned to have even a better job at Hulu. Yeah I'm actually finishing up my final year to get my AA and then from there, I'm going to transfer out to UCI to get my bachelor's. Well, that's that's awesome. That's really exciting. So we, we hope to continue to hear uh, your adventures, Anthony. And <laughs> so what happened is you you met your friend Randy in one of these classes. And now you helped Randy navigate this internship, right? Can you tell us a little bit about that? And then we're going to shift over to Randy. Yeah, so uh, the when I first heard about the program from the instructor, I had told Randy, you know, like, hey, uh, Steve, the instructor, told us there's a good program. You know, we should do it, get into it. But uh, Randy expressed to me that his parents wanted him to follow, you know, more traditional college route. But every time I would talk to Randy, I would always push him, like, hey, come to the program, join it, trust me. And then I guess finally, like, once he saw my results, he was able to convince his parents to join. And once he saw your pay, once he saw your paycheck, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't know if it was that, but yeah. he was able to convince his parents, and then throughout the program, you know, he reached out to me. I gave him tips, you know, like just helped him out throughout the whole process. What, what were some of the tips that you gave him that helped him out? And I'm gonna ask Randy the same question. I think the tips I gave him were more on like the technologies he needed to learn. So you know, like. Splunk or, you know, CrowdStrike. So basically like the security tools that are relevant in the industry right now. Wow, that's awesome. So, so Randy, t tell us a little bit about your story, your family, and, you know, you're also um, kind of a first generation kid. And just let's hear a little bit about Randy's story. Yeah, so my story kind of does very similarly to Anthony's where, um, out of high school senior year uh, I got the paper uh, someone I think someone handed it to me as we were heading out the door for like the end of the day and I I the only reason I joined was because I was forced to take that paper and I said like why not read it so I read it and I joined the program um, and I kind of saw Anthony there and he was the only one I kind of seen this, around Andy this is the after school uh, dual credit class that you're talking about yeah was advertised okay yeah yeah and uh before that i had interest in in computers uh, i knew that that's something that i did like but um not something that i had told my parents that i might want to make a career out of so um so going to these classes uh and meeting up with anthony every day and kind of uh, getting taught by steve kind of like spark that that thing where hey maybe you can do hacking for a career and that kind of blew my mind uh, I can kind of still like pinpoint the day that uh, like my whole life turned because of that, and and sitting here it's it's just crazy how far it's gone. Um, so yeah, I graduated high school uh, 2018, um, and then I went on to to college. Um, unfortunately, my parents didn't want me to do the program because they didn't believe in it, um, the program at Europe that is, and then so they were kind of more traditional. Um, I they've always thought that I wanted to become a doctor and I kind of was headed that route of becoming a surgeon in, in some type of of something like a general surgeon or maybe something like that. But I hadn't told them that I wanted to do cybersecurity until we were filling out that FAFSA form. And that, that was that was scary. So once we once I got out of high school, um, like Steve told us about the program and Anthony told me about it. And uh, I wanted to join it, but I couldn't because my parents were adamant that I go to college and do something. So I took, I think it 
took two two semesters or three before I finally convinced my parents to to let me go through this program and kind of see where it where it takes me. Um, and so, yeah, I think I joined December of last year, and it's been it's been a long long and wild ride. You know, um, Randy, um, you know, these are tough decisions, right? And, you know, of course, your parents want you to um, succeed, right? And they want you to do well, whatever that is. I think a lot of young people go through that rite of passage with their, with their parents. But one of the things that, um, for me, it, you know, once I became a teacher and I had many other jobs, but I felt like I, I found my calling where – it really didn't matter what I got paid, but I really enjoyed working with young people. Do you feel that way with cybersecurity and this uh, passion that you have? Definitely. Um, even even before I started the classes, it was hacking was something that I kind of did, not on a like major s- s- scale or anything. It was just more like me messing around with video games and trying to get like an advantage over other people. And so I kind of like. Like like I said earlier, when when I found out that hey, you can make your career out of having fun was crazy to me, and kind of like everything went on after that. So, what were um, some of the tips that you that Anthony gave you? He talked about technical things, and um, um, what did you recall that really made a difference for you succeeding in your internship? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Anthony has helped me a lot. I, I there's too, one too many tips, but I think. One that applies to everything is that he he taught me how to fail and how to look at the man pages and that sucks because yeah. it was a headache. Like I would I would be stuck in this position of not knowing what to do and he'd go, go to the man pages knowing the answer and being able to speed up the process. He would let me struggle and fail and make me read the man pages so I could figure it out myself. Wow, Anthony. So what are the man pages? What does that mean? Uh, so man is a short term for manual. So, you know, Randy was looking at the manual pages for different tools like Nmap or, you know, who is stuff like that. And I didn't see it as like letting him fail, but I, I let him see it more as like allowing him to figure it out and, you know, think about the problem and, you know, find a solution. So, <laughs> but, yeah. Where did you learn this concept? Because that's a huge, that's a very wise advice, right? For all of us to, uh, you know, to accept failure and learn from failure. Where did you, where did you learn that? I uh, saw so actually one of our coworkers now, he, he went through that like same phase with me, like trying to teach me and trying to speed me up. And so I kind of just like took what he did and, you know, handed it down to Randy. <laughs> so I learned it from him. Wow. So this is a very interesting thing that's going on because, you, I mean, you, you guys are two friends. Anthony, you're kind of mentoring uh, Randy and passing on a lot of uh, information and knowledge that you don't get in a textbook, that you don't necessarily get in a course. But, and, but, you're, but this is valuable information to succeed on the job, right? So this learning from failure, what about like, you know, our district is uh, interested in teaching young people these uh, soft skills, we call them the five C's. So um, Anthony, this is for both of you. Do you think that that is like learning to collaborate on the job? Is there a lot of collaboration at Hulu? Yes, there's definitely a lot of collaboration between multiple teams across different departments. When, and then there's also a lot of communication. That's another seed. You have to be able to collaborate effectively. You have to know how to communicate, right, and and, and uh, relay information to each other, right? Yep, that's correct. Now, is there a lot of, like, trust at that? Do you like the company culture? Do they, like, high trust and um, compassion and good character there? Do you feel that that's really evident at Hulu in their mission statement and in their culture? Yes, I definitely do feel that way, and I feel like Hulu really gives you a platform to explore and really grow your abilities, and that's one thing that I really like about them. Well, obviously, they have this internship program, right, especially for, you know, uh, minority kids and kids uh, from uh, from Anaheim, right? For I mean, that that's a huge thing because what you guys are doing, and I'm sure, you know, some of your friends that you're making over there um, are coming from 
different backgrounds, right? Maybe upper class kids or, you know, maybe your managers too, and they're opening up a whole new world for you. Do you feel that? Yep, I definitely feel that. <laughs> do you, Randy, do you tell your parents about this whole new world that's opening up to you? Uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah. I kind of have like some conversations with them. Uh, you know, this we, we have a, a lot of people that listen to this show, and there's going to be a lot of interest in hearing from recent graduates and how they're doing. Randy, I'll start with you. What, what are some of the, um, the advice that you have to, for young people that are, um, that want to listen to your story? Um, I would say, um, I know a lot of people say this and, and, but it's true is, is taking that first step. If, if I never, you know, uh, talked to my parents and said, Hey, crazy idea. Let me do cybersecurity. Uh, none of this would have been possible. Uh, probably wouldn't have met Anthony and done it as close as we are. We are. Wouldn't have done this internship, wouldn't have gone through the Euro program. And so just taking that first step is so vital. After that, I can't, I, I can remember taking the first step. I can't remember taking all the other steps, but I remember that first step was scary. But after I took it, I, I don't regret it. Randy, how, how do your parents feel now? Now that you're, you know, you're you're getting a full time job and things look a lot, you know, financially better for you, and plus you're happy. Uh, they they they, they're they're excited for me. Definitely, um, they still want me to reach higher, <laughs> which it's funny, but you know, it's they're always pushing me. Yeah, you feel good about that. You feel yeah, you're in a good place. How about you, Anthony? What What's some of the advice that you would give to young people? Uh, some advice I think would be that you have to reinvent yourself and that you never stop learning. You know, in this field, technology changes so fast, everything is changing and keeping up with that is definitely crucial. And not only that, just like in everyday life, you know, keeping up with what's going on around the world. I think that's really important. What, what message would you have uh, for parents, Anthony, who are listening out there that are trying to make sense of this? What message would you have for them? I think I would tell parents to let their kids explore, let them take, you know, the risk and see what the outcome is. Um, I know a lot of parents, you know, obviously they care for their children and they want them to succeed. But I feel like it's very important to also let them try things out so that they discover what they enjoy doing. Yeah, I think that's very powerful. Um, what about this concept of dual credit? Because most districts don't have dual credit and they don't have dual credit in cybersecurity, that's for sure. What, what do you think about the, that? Uh, and, and what a game changer that was for you, Anthony. Um, what do you have to say about that? Because that's something the district, Anaheim Union, really reached out to Cyprus to help create yeah, dual Roma is definitely like one of the best things. And I highly suggest, you know, everyone take advantage advantage of it. Um, me and, you know, Randy with two classes, we were able to secure jobs at Hulu and work, you know, as full-time security analyst. And now that, you know, the program is longer and you know, people can join into it for all four years or more, it's definitely a huge advantage. Wow. So... Randy, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask you, what is cybersecurity? How do how do you define that? Uh, kind of most of the time, it's just protecting your users uh, from themselves. is a, It's like a little inside joke. Um, so people people aren't super, you know, uh, aware of of the technology they use. They kind of just use phones without, you know, thinking about what goes on in the background. So uh, cybersecurity is just protecting protecting people from people pretty much. <laughs> so Anthony, do you think that cybersecurity that every student, especially given how advanced technology is and uh, social media, do you think every student should at least, at least have a basic awareness of how to protect themselves? Yeah, I definitely think everyone should have, you know, like a safe browsing uh, class or something uh, to stay protected online because there's a lot of emerging threats. You know, someone's always getting hacked and cybersecurity is really important. Could you, um, in the minute or so that we have left, Anthony, could you um, share with the audience um, why this is such a wide open field right now? I mean, where is it at in terms of jobs? So I, 
I think the last time I read, there's virtually a zero percent like unemployment rate, and that's like due to um, not enough people going into the field and learning about cybersecurity. And even if we get more people, there will always be something to secure, and there will always be a job. So cybersecurity is definitely the way to go in terms of a career. Well, wow. Randy, do you have anything to add in our closing seconds here to that? Yeah, definitely. As as we become a society where technology re revolves all around us, uh, cybersecurity will only become more prominent and needed more. So those those jobs need people to, uh, to be filled with. Hey, I have one last question um, because a lot of people talk about STEM and the lack of women in STEM. Are there very many uh, women in uh, cybersecurity yet? Have you noticed that? There's very little women in cybersecurity, and then, and I know a few uh, women that have created their companies to push that and get more women. But overall, there's you know just uh, lack of talent or like lack of people going in. So uh -huh. there's a even bigger you know gap of women going to cybersecurity due to that. Yeah. So we need to really try to recruit. Um, women and uh, what about other minorities do you are there that many um do you see that many latinos in this field cybersecurity? nope there's not that many minorities <laughs> so you think that's going to be a challenge that we need to get more especially latinos in, in this field because i mean this is this is a huge message i think for parents to understand that like you said there's zero percent unemployment right now and um certainly there's a need for more Latinos to come into this field. Yeah. Right. I really, I really appreciated this uh, 20 minutes that we had with you. I told you it's going to go by fast, right? So um, I, I just can't thank you enough because I know both of you young men are really um, on your, on a trajectory to successful careers, but equally important, you're spending the time with us because you care about, the young people here in Anaheim Union High School District. And on behalf of our 30,000 students and their families, thank you both and best of luck to you both, Anthony and Randy. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.